Hi, this is Eric. This is going to be my Plex Flow series for audiobooks. What I want you to do is open up Safari, navigate to YouTube, and search for the book that you want to download. In this particular case, we're just going to download this book here. And what I want you to do is from here, I want you to open up Downy. Make, once you have Downy opened, click on the Safari extension in Safari to send to Downy. And then back in Downy, change it over so that you are not downloading the video file, you're only extracting the audio. If you would like, you can do both of them, audio and video, but for this practical purpose, I recommend audio only, for it is an audio book. This reduces the amount of space that's necessary. Now what I want you to do is navigate in the finder to where Downey has downloaded it. In this particular case, it's in my downloads and then Downey. And you'll notice you have two different files, an SRT file and an MP4 file. You may have other files in there. Delete whatever it is that you do not want and or only keep the file that you want. Now I'm going to navigate inside the finder to where my music uh, is kept. And this is different for everybody, but make sure you navigate to where you want it. And in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the audiobook from Downey over to the music app. Now what we're going to do is we're literally going to drag the file into the music app and we're going to start editing the metadata. Here you can see the metadata is not very clean, not very nice, and this is why we want to clean it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the music app and press control I. And from here, we're going to start editing the metadata. You can edit the metadata as you see fit. This is up to you. I recommend that you put in the year that you're doing this or the year of the book. It's up to you. At a minimum, I would put the year that you're doing this. Clean up your metadata to the point where you like it. If you notice, I'm doing a lot of copying and pasting once I get it cleaned up, just so that everything is the same. I'm going to go in back to Safari. I'm going to search for the largest file of that particular audiobook cover so that I can drag and drop it into the music app to update the metadata. So here I am deleting the old stuff. All you have to do is click on the album art and press delete and it will automatically go away. And then here, click and drag and you will, your information will be saved inside the metadata. And if you notice the information is still incorrect until you press save. Once you press uh, OK, all of the metadata will change, the file name will change, and everything will change in the structure of the music app and the music folder and finder. This is what you want to do to help Plex better understand your information. So if you notice here, we have some nice clean folders now, and the file looks nice and clean. This helps Plex do its search and, and processing of the file pro properly. Now we're gonna go back to our server, wherever your server is, go to where your, met, your media is, and then we're going to search for our audiobooks and we're going to copy the file onto this Plex server to where we want it. Now mind you, this is inside the Plex app. This is not inside the Plex app itself. This is inside the Synology app, the server app, whatever it is that you're using. Now back over into the Plex server app, what we're going to do is we're going to scan for new files and we're going to let Plex find the new audiobook that we have. And if you notice, it shows up right there. It looks nice and clean. Everything looks right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate onto our iPhone and we're going to look for the book. You can use any Plex app that you want and this is what it will look like. That's all there is to it. I think once you get used to it, you'll understand it. These are the apps that I used with their links. Once again, this is Eric, 
and the MyPlexvo for audiobooks.